Hello everyone, in this video, let us uh, take a look at uh, the customer permissions uh, in Ajira Service Desk project. So in the previous video, we spent some time uh, looking at uh, uh, things uh, that uh, you can uh, do with your uh, Jira service desk uh, configurations. So in this video, let us uh, take a look at uh, the permissions that you can uh, con configure for uh, your customers. So when it comes to uh, the permissions, you have the option to do few things uh, because uh, when people are raising a request, maybe you want to restrict who can raise uh, the ticket uh, in your project. So when you go to the project settings of your project, you have the option to uh, click on customer permissions. And when you click on customer permissions, you have few options. So, so basically we have two things that we can uh, set here. The first option is who can raise the request. And the second option is who can uh, customers share request with. So let us talk about the second option uh, in a minute. but. Uh, uh, the first thing is uh, uh, the first option here will uh, will decide who can raise tickets in your uh, project. So we have few options here that you can select customers who are added to the project and uh, customers who have an account on this Jira site. The last option is can an, anyone can email the service desk or raise a request in the portal. Now. When you, uh, I mean, when you have a situation where you have limited customers, maybe you have uh, only 100 customers who can uh, raise a ticket in your uh, project, you can actually set that list uh, by going to the uh, peep, uh, by, by going to the customers uh, section here on the left hand side. So if you click on it, let us see what we can do here. So right now it says everyone with an, an account on this Jira instance is a customer, but we want to limit it. So if we go back to the same setting to uh, change the permission, uh, you can first select here customers who are added to the project. Then you can go back to the customer uh, where you can add people. So now it says this service desk is open to customers who are added to the project. Now you can add a customer here. Now um, you have the option to of course uh, uh, invite people. So let us say you want uh, to invite uh, your customers, you can send them an email. I mean you can basically uh, mention their email address here. So let us say you uh, want to add a customer like Ravi at example.com so you can um, simply type in their email address and you can also add uh, maybe one more uh, maybe sam at example.com and maybe uh, you want to enter something like uh, i mean by the way those customers can be your jira users as well so if you already have uh, some one already in your uh, in your Jira instance, you can add their uh, username as well. So basically the idea here is to simply specify the customers and you can also add them to an organization. So let me first add few people here, then I'll probably add the organization as well. So maybe you have a, a organization like Microsoft and maybe Google. So maybe you have big customers and uh, when you add a new organization. You can see here that uh, you can uh, now specify those uh, customers that you added earlier. So let me just go back to maybe the first user, the first customer. And uh, and by the way, when you add people here, they are actually added uh, in your Jira instance uh, as a user as well. Of course, they will have limited rights. So let me uh, first add uh, these customers to maybe uh, the uh, organization here. So I can add maybe uh, this user 
ravi at example dot com to uh, my Google, and if I go back to my to to maybe Microsoft, I can uh, add something like this. And by the way, um, when you're doing it here, I mean, of course, we are doing everything manually here, like adding people, uh, adding uh, customers uh, manually. But uh, you have, of course, other options. You can also link it to your uh, your Active Directory, your LDAP. We'll probably discuss those things if we can in uh, later videos. But uh, this is how you will manage the customers. Now, right now the permissions, I mean, if you look at, if you talk about the permissions of uh, the service desk, it says it is open to customers who are added to the project. So right now we have two customers and they are added to this uh, list here. If I maybe go to the portal, uh, let us see if uh, we can uh, do something here. So of course right now I am an admin, so I can potentially raise a ticket uh, and I, I can of course uh, uh, specify the username on top. Like for example, I can uh, specify the username here that uh, I may want to raise a ticket on behalf of maybe Sam or maybe some other user. But you still have uh, uh, the option to select because right now we are doing it uh, as an admin. Now let me try to raise a ticket. And uh, if you raise uh, this uh, ticket here, you can of course uh, go to your Jira service desk directly. And uh, you can see here that uh, the customer is actually the user that uh, you selected. And uh, this is how you will uh, manage the customer list. Uh, because uh, maybe it is a case in your uh, service desk where you want to have a limited set of users who can raise the uh, tickets. Uh, there are other things that you can do here like, uh, uh, and by the way, uh, the, the, the third option here is that anyone can email the service desk or raise a request in the portal. So if you keep it as anyone, it means that uh, people can sign up or they can send an email to your uh, email address that you will probably configure later on if you want to enable uh, tickets being raised by uh, if you want to have that capability where people can just send you an email uh, and a ticket will be raised in your uh, project. Uh, we also have other options like who can customers share request with. So right now the option is other customers in their organization, which I also recommend. So if you go to the portal and uh, if you take a look at uh, your ticket, so you have an option here to share this particular uh, ticket within your organization if you have configured it configured it that way. So you can uh, maybe type in your uh, organization name here uh, or uh, you can type in here uh, maybe someone within your organization. And, and of course, uh, right now uh, we, I mean, right now we are doing this uh, with the admin rights, but uh, if you select <coughs> here, other customers in their organization, it means that they can only share within their organization. Uh, there, al there is also an option, any customer by typing an email address or any customer or organization by searching in this project. So most likely, if you want to have uh, some restriction, maybe select uh, the first option, uh, other customers in their organization, so that uh, they ha have the option to just, uh, I mean, keep it within their company. Maybe uh, they want to also let uh, others know that uh, there is something wrong with uh, maybe the service or the website is down, or maybe they want to let others know. So they have an option to share, but of course within their organization. Uh, there is also a message here, if you click on this sign that says, if anyone can raise a request, so it means that uh, on top, you have selected anyone can email the service desk or raise a request in the portal. So it says that if anyone can raise a request, service desk creates an account for any one customers share with. So basically if, uh, 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 if you uh, 
select this option any customer by typing an email address and if that particular uh, email address uh, is not yet added as a customer in your Jira service test project then their account will be uh, created. So these things are, I mean, you don't really see a lot of options here, but you will uh, probably find uh, uh, it really useful when you want to understand uh, the behavior of your uh, Jira service desk works. And when it comes to Jira service desk, people take it seriously because uh, uh, you are using a service desk to provide a service to help your customers and you want to know how it uh, works. So I recommend that in the beginning, select these options uh, after giving it some thought uh, because these options will, will, will basically uh, define how customers are interacting, how they are sharing the tickets, uh, maybe within their organization or maybe with anyone. So just have some restriction in place in the beginning so that uh, uh, you are limiting what customers can share. And uh, in the next video, we will uh, take a look at a few other things uh, very quickly because I think uh, there are a lot of configurations that you can do with Jira Service Desk. But uh, in the next video, we will probably spend some time uh, looking at uh, some options like uh, email request, customer notifications, and uh, satisfaction settings. We will probably spend uh, or create a separate video on knowledge base because knowledge base is really important and of course SLAs and automation. But in the next video, we'll spend some time looking at uh, customer uh, notifications and uh, satisfaction settings. So I hope uh, you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.